Welcome back to Virtual Art School with Mr. Kaufman. This is my son Sam joining us today. Hey. And today on Virtual Art School we're going to do something called the Scribble Game. Yep. Did you ever think that scribbling could become an art? Oh yeah, of course. I mean, sometimes scribbles can lead to like... I mean, I don't really know how to describe it, but sometimes when you scribble you can actually just uh, create a little art form in your own way without like, you know, getting down an anatomical structure, it's really great actually. Awesome. So, this is the project that we're going to do that it just involves simple scribbling. It's more of a game and I hope you have fun with it. I hope you have a whole lot of, whole lot of creative learning happening in the meantime. So with that, let's get started. We start up with a simple shape. I'm going to call it an organic shape, something like this. Okay, it's an organic shape where these are geometric shapes. These are shapes you see in math. Okay, you don't want any of those. You want something like that. So, start. Up, you can have a partner when you do this. You want me to draw? You can one? do it by yourself, and uh, I'll do the first one. So, all you do is you start with a simple organic shape, and then you turn it around until it looks like a potential face. Okay. And that looks pretty good about this angle. So then you put in the details of a face. And nose, eyes, hair. Sometimes the hair is built in, sometimes the hair isn't. But in this case, I see hair right on the top, right there within that shape. And of course, shoulders. Okay, so start the scribble game. What we'll do is we'll put a random organic shape anywhere on the paper. Should I do that? And then you hand it off to your partner and you draw one for me. Oh, yeah. And I'll do one on this side. Alright, anything goes. So we switch papers. Alright. And now we Let's look see. for faces within the shape. So turn it around from different sides. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it looks better. Ooh, like I see a face right here. Mm -hmm. There we go. So you draw them on that side, I'll draw them on this side. Start with the details of a face. What are the details of a face? Eyes, noses, mouths. Here, sometimes a fun hat shows up. In this case, I see a really fun hat that's tipped sideways. Yep, don't forget the details around the head and shoulders as well. And the idea is to fill up the whole entire paper. Mm. So you don't have any space left. There we go. Shading is always fun too. Add a little extra hair down here. We can even lengthen. Alright, thank you for that shape. Ooh, that's a good one. <laughs> Alright. Well. So then we'll do the same thing, repeat the same process to find a new space. And this is gonna be a tough one. Good luck. Right. Oh, I kind of see a duck, <laughs> if I'm going to be honest. Okay. All right. And of course, they can be upside down. There's no rule that says it has to be right side up. Hmm. Looks um, like a side view. How do you make this into a duck? So a side view, you're going to have one eyeball showing. I'll just make him right off the side of the paper right there. A fat duck, I guess? This guy is just good. This is. <laughs> <laughs> you never know what's going to show up on your picture when you're playing the scribble game. Forget eyebrows. I 
guess I have a fat duck. That's, <laughs> that's something. All right, let's All right, get more shapes down. One more scribble on this piece of paper. I'm going to give you one that's really challenging. Oh, no. What the heck? <laughs> you try an animal this time. It looks like a all right. oh. space for a horn. I'm actually not even seeing a face in this one. Well, right, I'm going to tip this a lot. I'm not seeing anything yet. No, still looks like a bird to me. It's like a bird flying. Sometimes it's all ready done. I could not get a human unicorn on bird. What do you got going on that one? Uh, definitely not a human. I could not no, find. Mine wasn't human either. But you had to go with an animal. What the heck? <laughs> it's kind of a combination of a shark and bird. Yeah? Oops. Maybe like. Alright, now to finish this up, I think I'm going to add a little bit of, fill up this extra space with some background. Maybe some clouds to fill up that space a little bit more. The sun or something. Whatever you want to do in the background, there really isn't any rights and wrongs. Alright, that's a good guys. way. Good way to end as always with a uh, signature of yours. And we will end this. I just want to finish this little branch. Remember to get your end. signature, Mr. Kaufman. And I will put my signature down here, and we'll call the scribble game complete. Nice. There we go. JK. And there's Sam's signature right there. Well done.